I don't know about you guys, but growing up, I felt like I could not get away with anything. Mom and dad were everywhere. Well, imagine if you had mom, dad, and mom again. One, One two, two, three parents. Three parents. Is that even possible? <laughs> Find out on today's Medical Moment. I'm Dr. Idris. I'm Dr. Jamel. And this is today's Medical Moment. And on today's Medical Moment, we're asking the question, is it possible to have three genetic parents? And the short and probably surprising answer to that question is it absolutely is. Yeah. You probably heard in the news recently that the British Parliament passed a law making it legal to use three people's genetic material during IVF, in no. vitro fertilization. I imagine most people hearing this are, are really asking themselves two questions, both how do you do this and why? why would you do this? So let's first talk about the why. The why is actually very simple. You know, 99.95% of our genetic material comes from our mom and our dads equally. But there's a small percentage of our genetic material, basically 0.05%, that comes solely from our mothers. And therein lies the potential problem. This DNA, called mitochondrial DNA, only comes from mom. So if you inherit bad mitochondrial DNA from mom, you don't get any from dad to kind of balance it off. Exactly. You don't have any healthy DNA to balance it off. And so this can lead to a, a multitude of, of really either life-altering or even life-threatening genetic issues. So that's the why. Now the next question is how? Well, during IVF, before they fertilize the in eggs, vitro fertilization, in vitro fertilization, they take a third donor's healthy mitochondrial DNA and they insert it into the unfertilized so egg. It's like your third genetic parent, another mom. And so basically they put this healthy mitochondrial DNA in the unfertilized egg, then the sperm from donor dad is used to fertilize that egg, and then the fertilized egg is Voila. basically placed in mom and you've got your baby with healthy mitochondrial DNA. So that's the how and the why. Now, of course, this is a no, very... Things ever easy. Exactly. Nothing's ever easy. clear-cut. This is a very altruistic and really positive use of this, this, this new technology, but there are always concerns anytime you have new technology. And one concern a lot of folks are going to have when they hear about this is... Designer babies. Designer babies, exactly. If you can manipulate the genetic material like this, can you also manipulate it to create the perfect baby? The like blue-eyed, like you, the blue-eyed, well, blonde, he's not blue-eyed or blonde <laughs> hair, you know, six-foot genius baby. And of course, there's no right or wrong answer to that question. But well, the answer is, to that question is yes, you can use Well, you can do it, but there's no right or wrong answer to the question, to is it should. right or is it wrong? Yeah. So, definitely a big debate. Tell us what you think. Check out our website, www.twindoctorstv.com. Give us your opinions on our Facebook page, Twin Doctors TV. Tweet Let us at Twin Doctors TV and tweet the link to this and tell your friends to participate as well. We want to know what you guys think. Stay as healthy, always, guys. Folks, stay healthy, stay informed. Peace.